This is WLWT News 5 leading the way with breaking news. A birthday party turns into a horrific crime scene. Four people killed and three others injured after a cold blooded shooting in Boone County. We also now know the shooter is dead after turning the gun on himself. Tonight, a community is numb as police work to make some sense out of the senseless. Good evening, everyone, and thanks for joining us tonight at six o'clock. I'm Curtis Fuller, my co-anchor, Lindsey Stone, live where this tragedy took place. It all happened at a home on Ridgecrest Drive and News 5's Daisy Kershaw, also live from the scene. She's been talking to neighbors, but first, let's go to Lindsey Stone. Lindsey, we're learning more disturbing details from police as this investigation into this tragedy unfolds. What do we know tonight? Well, Curtis, we know that Florence police officers began receiving 911 calls of an active shooter inside this residence here behind me. Those calls coming in just before 3 a.m. Police said that a birthday party was going on at the time. As we zoom in here, you can see there's been some 4th of July decorations. Earlier, we saw some balloons for a birthday party, and now this entire home is just covered with crime tape. As we zoom in and take a close look at that front door, you can see that glass door is completely off the hinges. This home now a crime scene. Now, officers found seven people with gunshot wounds, including two people outside the home. Four were found dead at the scene, including 20 year old Shane Miller, 20 year old Hayden Rabicki, 19 year old Delaney Erie, and 44 year old Melissa Parrott. Now, we're told Parrott lived in this home. She's the mother of the 21 year old whose birthday was being celebrated. The three others shot remain hospitalized tonight. Officers. Um rendered first aid to several victims and right now we have three victims at UC Medical in Cincinnati that are all stable and will uh, make a full recovery. Now, police say when they arrived here on the scene, that suspect was still firing shots and then they actually watched him take off and we now know a chase ensued. Tonight, we are learning new details about who that suspect is and the dramatic moments after police arrived here on the scene. I'll bring in WWT News 5's Daisy Kershaw. She's continuing our team coverage tonight. Daisy, what do we know about this suspect? Lindsay, he's identified as 21 year old Chase Garvey. Police say after killing four people and injuring three others, Garvey took off, leading them on a chase before ultimately turning the gun on himself. Police saying that Garvey died of a self inflicted gunshot wound. Now take a look at this video here shared with us by a neighbor. You can see Garvey looking around people's yards just minutes before the shooting happens. Neighbors tell me this is a quiet, tight knit neighborhood. This tragedy coming as a shock. Lots of heartbreak here tonight. I'm told so many in the area were close with one of the victims, Melissa Perrette, who was hosting the party. A father and daughter who live next door tell me they'd been at that party earlier in the night before this all unfolded. We're just lucky we're, we were safe in a sense, but it doesn't make it any better for it's this is affecting the whole neighborhood, losing our great neighbor, you know. I mean, she was just a beautiful woman, beautiful heart. Um, and I, I mean that in the most sincere way. I mean, it's not just a cliche thing to say. I mean, she she was a beautiful person in and out. Neighbors tell me that this has been just incredibly shocking and heartbreaking, saying that Melissa Perrette was like the heart of this neighborhood. So many have fond memories of times spent at her home and her loss, as well as the three other victims, is just unimaginable for folks here. Reporting live in Florence, Daisy Kershaw, WLWT News 5. Daisy, thank you. And you know, just in the last few moments, we actually saw three more people arrive here at the scene. They were all crying. And at one point they all stopped and had a hug with each other. They're just taking in this scene. I want to point out here, this is actually a canopy here earlier is where we saw some of those birthday balloons here. And it also shows you just how close this home is to the other homes. Daisy just touched on, you know, this is a very tight knit, close knit neighborhood. A lot of people affected by what happened in the last day or so. So of course we are trying to get more information as you can imagine, this is still very early in the investigation. So right now we are waiting to get more information from the Florence Police Department. Of course, as we do get that information, we will update you when we learn more. Curtis, I'll send it back to you in studio. All right. Thanks a lot.